because I feel like we're really weird, but we're just going to go with it. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Julia. So, as promised, this is going to be, if you couldn't guess from the title already, my home office tour. I work full-time from home and my fiance utilizes this office as well. So I thought I'd give you a little insider view of what it looks like and where I spend a lot of my days. And a little, um, <laughs> little note, I filmed this using the new, oh gosh, what's it called? The Huawei phone. We just got a Huawei phone for Kurt, my fiance, and I utilized the video settings on that because I haven't gotten the camera I want yet. So I didn't realize the entire time I was filming that it was on uh, Vivid. So we're just gonna ignore the fact that it looks like Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. I mean, it's not that bad, but you'll notice in parts where it just looks, the colors are like a little, maybe a little oversaturated. But that's pretty much all I wanted to say. I'm really excited to share this with you and as always, if you like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, uh, leave me a comment below of other kinds of videos you want me to do, what you want to see, and yeah, let's just get right into it. So this is the room, this is the office. So when you first walk in, you have the desk on your left. So I think that's where we'll start. Okay, so we've got the computer tower here and here is the desk. So a little overview and then we'll go through it. So here is my infamous notebook, um, work like a boss on the best back it says, oh, act like a lady which I think is kind of funny. Um, so I write down like all of my ideas for videos, for my business, pretty much everything like I write into this little journal and it's very full of stuff. So I really love this. I use it pretty much every day. Here we have my crystal Bible and I'm just starting to get into this. Like I haven't delved into it a lot, but in here, oh, I'm gonna need two hands to open this. Okay, so here we have some crystals and I just have a few small different ones. Kurt and I, my fiance, are both very, very into healing energies and we're actually gonna incorporate some stones like this into our wedding. So I'm really, really into this and I'm really excited to read more about it. So I just keep them in this little bag here. So this is a fake orchid. I love orchids and I was never a fake flower girl before, but real flowers die guys and I just I don't want to have to replace it every like every single week so I got some good quality orchids that are fake and they look real and I'm very very happy with them and then I have this beautiful vase here oh, as I almost knock it over and this was actually just like um, a dollar store find I believe um, or no it was a thrift store find actually so I really really love this I think it's beautiful and it fits these perfectly. Okay, so next we have the desktop here. And I'm just gonna actually turn it on. Come on, there we go. Okay, Kurt has a million things open. I was not expecting that. Okay, okay, nope, almost there, almost. Okay, thanks, okay. So this is what I see normally when I log in in the morning. Um, this is my dream board and this is actually a compilation of Greece, um, Santorini specifically, and then Paris because that is where Kurt and I are going for our honeymoon. And then down here, I just have this cute little office sign. And then back here in this, Again, I think this was like a dollar store find. Just has some 
uh, memory cards, SD cards, that kind of stuff. These are Kurt's Turtle Beach headphones and they are awesome because I can actually walk around the house and still hear what's going on in here. So the only thing we're missing right now is actual speakers for this computer. And we had some and they died and we just haven't replaced them yet. So that's been a bit of a pain. But for now, these work and they're really great. Oh, over here, uh, we just have our mic. I honestly cannot remember the brand of this. I mean, maybe it's blue. And I love this mic. It works amazingly well. I will probably get a different one in the future, but for now it's perfect. I use it to record voiceovers and I use it when I'm talking to people on video meetings and things like that. Back here, I just have a mason jar, which is very me, if you know me at all, and just have some pens in there. Down here, we have my HP printer. It has a giant skid mark across it. And this little guy, we've had for quite a long time. Like, I think I've had this for as long as I can remember, and it works brilliantly well still. Um, over here, we just have a couple extra what do you call these whiteboards so I use these on occasion and here we have a little chair uh, this chair is really random I know I tried to purchase uh, secondhand a set of chairs for like bar stools for in our kitchen they didn't work out so the rest are in the garage and I just stuck one in here I don't know I thought it looked cute and I thought if someone else is in this room it might be nice for them to have a seat. I just have this blanket over top of it. And yeah. And then here, I love this. This is like my prized possession. This macrame wall hanging. I know these are very popular, but I've always been obsessed with these and I've always wanted one. And I finally found one second hand, so I'm very happy about that. Okay, so now the wall over here. We have a whiteboard that is not filled in right now. <laughs> and we have this... Um, picture that I've put in a picture frame and I know it's not even but I actually kind of like it that way and this is actually really meaningful to me because it is a photo or rather I guess it was a drawing yeah it was a drawing that someone did of my grandma's old home on Hornby Island and uh, she's passed away now, but I spent like a good portion of my childhood growing up in this house. And my grandma was someone who I was, I, I admired very, very much. Um, she traveled the world. She did a lot of good in the time that she was alive. And uh, I consider her a role model and I get positive vibes whenever I think of her or things related to her. So I keep that up there for inspiration. And over here, we have another whiteboard, which is a calendar, which is, again, not filled in. I am actually going to be going and filling in a lot of this stuff today. Um, over in the corner here, behind the door, there's just another little whiteboard. I'm actually planning on putting that up on the wall, I think. There's some stuff written on it. Kurt was playing around with it. So I almost forgot the chair and, oh my gosh. So this chair... I actually really don't like. I think it's really ugly. It's Kurt's chair. He bought it for gaming racing before we actually started working from home. So he loves it. And I have to admit, it is very, very comfortable. It reclines and everything. And everyone who sees it when we're like on videos and stuff like that, um, meetings, they always talk about it. And they're like, yeah, the racing chair. So eventually, I will have my own beautiful chair and we will actually have separate offices when we build our dream home. So this isn't a forever chair, but hey, it works for now. This is a key, the keyboard that we have. And I love this thing because it changes colors if you watch it for long enough. See, it's starting to switch again. Really cool. And the mouse and the mouse pad does the same thing. Okay, so right next to the desk here is the window. So. We have a pretty cute little view out there, I think. It's nice of the front yard. And these curtains actually came with the house. And over here next to the window, we have my bookshelves. I love these bookshelves. And I'm so grateful for Kurt because I could not have put these up by myself. So I'm so glad that he did it for me. And you'll see a theme here. These are all like personal development books. So. We are very into personal growth, personal development, 
making yourselves better. It's really key in business. So, and up here, my mom got this for me, I believe, for my, no, for Christmas one year, um, Mindful Movements, and I really love that. It's kind of like illustrated like a children's book, but it's meant for adults, and it's a really beautiful book. Down here, we have our Awaken plaques, I guess you could say. They're not trophies, but um, basically Kurt and I attended a really intense personal development course over three days when we were down in Vegas a couple years ago. And this is what you get at the end of them. Okay, so over here, we have the giant whiteboard. I don't even know if you guys can really tell like how large this is in comparison to that. So it's huge. And right now it just has some has some stuff on it that Kurt was working on so normally it doesn't have all this on there and then this is our cork board over here and I wasn't sure what to do with this so I just have a bunch of like random little things on here we just have some different cards from different people uh, this is actually a photo of my grandma who I was talking about earlier so I have that up there uh, this is me and my mom if you watched the vlog of me putting uh, and Kurt putting this room together, you will have seen this already. And this, I love this. This came from my friend Jessica Boat. Um, long story about how I got it, but um, basically it says, it's not about being perfect, it's about being better. My favorite quote you've ever said, love you. So I love this. I'm so glad that she got value from that. So I keep it up there as a reminder. So now we have this ginormous closet. And it's kind of deceiving. You'll see why in a minute, but I love it. I think it's beautiful, the big French doors. So when you go in, one side, the other, you'll see it's very shallow, but very long. So that's the total overview. And it's not 100% clean, but good enough. So let's see, up here, there's just some like papers in there. Um, this is our DJI Osmo, so some tech stuff, uh, one of Kurt's games, some Bridget paper, and this bag I like to use to carry around a lot of my tech stuff, really great. Um, I think this is the Go, one of the GoPro cases, uh, some games up there, file folders with some work stuff. And then down here we have, this is random, but I have my yoga mat and my um, foam roll in here and that is because if I leave them out the cats will get to them and destroy them uh, And then this oh my gosh this hunk here. This is Kurt's racing wheel and he Does not want to part with it. So as much as I've tried so he keeps that in here and uses it on occasion He's a gamer it's his thing. Oh, and down here, Kurt recently just got this for us. Uh, this is a different foam roller. Obviously, this one is like very, very soft, and this one is a lot rougher. So, it's one I'm getting used to. In here, oh, this isn't usually down here, but this is my like makeshift file folder. So I have all the important documents and stuff, and there is some work stuff in there. And this little compartment thing here, I love this. I got this um, secondhand and it fits a lot of stuff. So just give you a basic idea. So I have like my most used stuff up here. Every morning I read a portion of this book. Um, really awesome book. If you've never heard of it before, go look it up. It will change your life. It is the best book I have ever read. I use it on a daily basis. Then I have a journal down here that I used to write in the morning. Um, this, I keep track of like our finances um, and have what we're spending on like a monthly and weekly and daily basis. And this book here, this is, ah, okay, I can't get it out, but it says Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself by Joe Dispenza. And another great book is the one I'm currently reading. This here is a cool little nifty device. It's called a Muse headband, and I use this to meditate every single morning. I try to anyway, sometimes before bed too. And you basically, you put it on and then it reads your brain waves. 
and basically if you are in a meditative state you will hear birds and if not you will like hear ocean and it gets really loud or rainforest whatever setting you set it to uh, that's just the charger for it these are my headphones and yeah that's pretty much all that's in there and here we've got okay this is again a little disorganized <laughs> um so usually this money would not be here would be inside so i keep some extra cash in here and this cute little clutch here clutch is that what you call it i don't know a little bag um here i have this little bag which is full of like our passports and stuff like that and i love this it has little pineapples on it how cute is that i have a bit of a pineapple obsession not gonna lie and in here i have just like ugh, i don't know a whole bunch of um extra pens and pens and highlighters and all kinds of stuff like that in there don't need to go through that it's not that exciting uh stapler uh here we have a couple different um like charging ports external chargers so this is a really great for on the go and this thing is really cool and i haven't used this much i really need to um my friend laura laura if you're watching this thank you she got this for me and you use it to take photos and it like does some crazy stuff like when you look through it to like the viewpoint of what you're looking at i don't know if that made any sense but really really cool and then in here this right here this is the secret this is curtis's wedding band that we recently got and drawer okay this isn't very full laura also got me this the okay fine i'm grateful journal really funny um has little like little things in here so i haven't used this yet but i am planning on it and i think i'd probably use that like when i go on vacation or something like that and this i need to really dive into this too i don't know why it looks so dirty on this everything that's black um Wow. So this is the Total Commitment Success Library by Michael Burnoff. Um, work stuff again. And some extra papers down here. So not that exciting. And then we have this is where I organize all my like smaller cords. Um, I have some extra journals there. That kind of stuff. What is under here? Oh, okay. More papers. All right. And moving on to this, we have, okay, so <laughs> let me just explain this for a minute. So these are all separate, like, bins, and the reason they look, it looks like this, there's like a hole in this very scraggly, is because these used to be out in the open at our old place, and when we first moved in here, and we have cats that like to destroy everything. So that's why they're in here now, so that they stay alive for a few more years. You can see, it went right through. So in here, oh, I forgot these were in here. <laughs> so these are for Kurt, actually. I got these for him as a surprise. Um, but those aren't normally in here. Uh, just pins to pin things up on that cork board. Uh, different work-related things, picture frame, yada yada. Not that exciting. Okay, let's go to the next one. All right, so next one we have, uh, not that exciting. Um, this is the case from Kurt's new phone. We have a case from our Star Wars coin, which is actually worth a lot of money. Um, stuff for business, staples. This is from my, actually I'm not gonna open it, but this is from my engagement ring, which is, focus right there and uh yeah oh what's in here i don't even know I don't remember okay i gotta put these guys down i can't open this oh right okay so this actually is cool this is um kurt's stuff so kurt's actually used to be and i mean still is he just hasn't been actively doing it is really into making really oh, really cool beaded um and gemstones necklaces uh, so he's made some beautiful ones in the past and he's currently working on one for someone important so yeah that kind of stuff is all in there gotta love a guy who makes jewelry right that one's done last one this is not exciting at all and if you saw 
when we were actually putting this room together in the last vlog, you would have seen the disaster that this was before. Ta-da! The cords are all, all organized. And I said in that vlog that Kurt was supposed to deal with them all. Yeah, no, chokes on me. I was the one who did this all, yes. So you're welcome, you're welcome, babe. All right, so that's all that. In the summer, it gets hot. We have um, air con in here, so we probably won't need these. We just had them in our old place. And back here, there's an extra computer desktop screen. That is basically everything that's in there. I'm gonna close that up. And I think that's it, is that really it? Yeah, I guess it is. And I forgot to mention that the floors in here are actually cork which is really cool, like I've never seen that before. It's, it's like finished cork. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in my next video, which will be a vlog, it'll be a fun one.